hi everyone i'm gonna film a favorites video today i feel like it's been a very long time since i filmed one of these and i've got some things to show you that i've really enjoyed using lately it is a <laughs> when i say this is a mixed bag of stuff it is like the most random selection of things but they are nonetheless things that i have used lots in the last couple of months and i just wanted to share them with you in case you find something that you would like to try so i will start with a couple of like beauty bits makeup bits the first of which is this foundation now i hate foundation as a general rule i tend to stick to tinted moisturizers mm. and um lighter coverage things in fact the next item i want to show you is one of those things but this I saw recommended somewhere, probably on Instagram. It is the Beauty Pie Everyday Great Skin Foundation. I can't, what shade have I got it in? In ivory. And this was really cheap if you're a Beauty Pie member, obviously, depends whether or not you have a subscription. Um, but if you do, I would definitely recommend trying it. It's not too heavy, which is what I like. It goes on really easy. I just put it on my fingers. I really really like it and for the price if I remember rightly it was around seven pounds um on top of your subscription so well worth a go if you want I don't know I just feel like the lighter weight stuff really works well in the summer but when it comes to the winter I just need a little bit extra to keep me from looking like washed out and not very healthy and this is what I basically use for the entire summer this is the Aborian I think that's how you say it CC cream in the shade Claire and this is one of those face creams that comes out of the tube white and then you rub it in and it adapts to your skin tone this is the small tube which you can get on Amazon which is great again for trying it out I think this is about nine or ten pounds doesn't look like it's a lot but trust me this will last you a long time um, I'm desperate to try the eye cream, actually, the under eye CC cream, which is supposed to be brilliant. So maybe that'll be next on the list. But this I wore on its own all through summer. It just does a great job of evening out your skin tone and just giving you a tiny bit of coverage without looking like you've got a full face of makeup. And it's got an SPF. Yeah, 25, up to 25 SPF. Love this. And now I tend to use it underneath my foundation as a moisturizer or as like a primer it's really really good i'm so late to the party on this but i can't believe what a difference it makes to my hair so i had to mention it although you're probably all at home nodding saying yes i've been using that for years but it's the olaplex bonding oil number no. seven um i've been using this for weeks and there's virtually nothing gone you need the tiniest amount so i envisage that this bottle will last me probably years but I'm growing my hair again at the moment. I go through this all the time. I'm kind of tempted to chop it off. Also tempted to grow it for a bit. But it does a really good job of smoothing out the ends. I'm probably not a good advert for it today because I haven't really done much with my hair. Um, and it needs a wash. So um, don't look at my hair, but do trust me that it is a really, really good product. Really glad I got it. I think I bought it with a 20% discount as well. So it's worth hanging on to get one of those discount codes for like look fantastic or uh, what's the other one? Feel unique or something. I think I got it from there. Really, really worth a go if you're on the fence and not sure whether to try it or not. I really like it and it smells nice too. Next up is a product that you've probably heard lots of people talking about. Not sure whether or not it actually makes a difference, but I honestly can't be without it now and it's a collagen powder this is the dose and co i have the dairy free version you can get it non-dairy free this is the vanilla flavor it goes in my coffee i used to use a flavorless one I had no like this is the creamer for adding extra flavor to coffee but i've had just a flavorless like collagen powder i think that was i've forgotten the brand i'll link them both in my description because both are good if you're not like my husband Dan isn't a big fan of the flavour this adds to his coffee, he preferred the flavourless one. But the benefit of taking collagen daily, for me, I've noticed it made a difference to my nails, my hair, my skin felt, um, I don't know, I hate this word, so please forgive me, but plumper. What a horrible word. Uh, but it did, that is what it did seem to do for my skin. And I went for a couple of weeks recently without it. I've got this on my Amazon subscriptions, but I'd messed up somehow and it wasn't delivered on time. So I had to go for like two to three weeks without it. Um, I don't know why I just didn't reorder one, but anyway, I, I went without it for those couple of weeks. Really noticed a difference. Also, I quite like the taste of it in my coffee now. So my coffee wasn't as nice either. 
but I also find that it makes a difference to my joints. I've got a creaky knee, which makes me sound ancient, but it, I have, I've had it for years. I don't know if I've injured it in the past, but it just makes this weird noise. When I go up the stairs, I could kind of squelching kind of noise, like the joint in my right knee. And um, this seems to like improve that not such a squelchy knee. So all of those things together, it just seems to be really good. Um, let's have a look, what does it say on the back? Nature's answer to beauty, both inside and out. High quality natural collagen promotes support smooth skin, better word than plump, and strong hair and nails. And yeah, I just feel like, you know when you just can kind of tell something's working? This seems to really work for me, so worth a try. Next up is a cleaning product, and I do apologize for being that person but it is really good. First off, the first thing I wanna say is that I hate the smell. It's a really sickly sweet, horrible smell, but I know, I don't know why I picked this one, I just think I got swayed by the rainbow-ness of it. I'm just a bit gullible like that, but actually it turns out I don't like it at all. But in terms of a cleaning product, it's really, really good. It's a mousse, bathroom mousse cleaner, so you just spray it on. It goes a bit brown, which I think it would do anyway, um, because I think that's just what happens to the product. It like oxidizes and goes a bit brown. But it does make you feel like that means it's drawing the dirt off whatever you sprayed it onto. Um, oh, that's the kids downstairs. Um, so basically, I just spray it all over, and it does kind of... I leave it for five to ten minutes. It does seem to, like drag the dirt off whatever surface it's on then I just give it a quick wipe and a spray with the um the shower or whatever to clean it away and it really does leave my bath shower sinks really sparkling clean really easily which I like they do other scents so if you don't like the sickly sweet smell like clearly I don't I will be trying another one I think they've got citrusy ones and more like traditional bathroom cleaner type scents so Smell aside, it's a really good product. This was from B&M Bargains, I think, and only a couple of pounds. The next thing, which is also bathroom related, are these towels. And I've just bought a whole load of new towels because we were in dire need. When I say dire need, the towels we were using, I don't even want to think how long we'd had them. They were all like coming apart and just awful. So I wanted to get some nice new ones. These I was so impressed with, they're from Asda hold them up um they are the wellness 100% organic cotton bath sheets and they are a waffle texture this is a really bad color to show on camera isn't it but they're like a waffle texture on one side and then regular toweling on the other and they're huge the bath sheets are huge I bought I think four bath sheets four hand towels I'll probably get some more in another color because they do like a mushroom color and a sage green so I might mix and match but what I loved about them the most is that they look and feel really expensive but they were really really reasonable again I will link them for you but they just have that kind of spa towel more expensive than your average towel look and feel but really reasonably priced so if you're in the market for some new towels I think they have pink ones as well but that doesn't really go with the bathrooms I wanted to put them in but they were nice too then speaking of pink stuff I just wanted to show you some boots that I got for Marnie because I was really pleasantly surprised with them they look like this they're really cute baby pink I thought these were going to be like wellies just pull on boots but they're not, she hasn't actually worn them yet. She tried them on when they arrived, but we haven't been out to wear them yet. But they've got like a furry, let me see if I can, they've got a zip first off, which I thought was brilliant because I was expecting them to be, as I said, just slip on. They've got like a fur lining. They feel, they've got like this rubber ridge around here. So they will really keep her feet warm and dry in the winter. And again, they were really reasonable. I think they were 19.99 and then I had a discount on them as well. I had a discount code to use so they feel like really good well-made boots really on trend with the little loops I can't wait to see her in these she's over the moon with them I'm going to show you these I'm not going to try them on because nobody needs to see it but I will put a link so you can see what they look like on but I bought these leather look leggings from ASOS I think they're by Topshop yeah they are um, and I just had to tell you about them because I'm sure lots of you have leather look leggings and I've tried various pairs before. I don't know, they've never really worked for me until I found this pair. These are so comfortable, 
but they don't feel restrictive in any way they don't feel like uncomfortable to wear they're really high-waisted which i love and they feel they're even more comfortable than my regular black leggings because they're that little bit warmer as well these again i think these are 20 pounds again i had a discount doing well with the discount codes this time um and if you're just in the market for something like this, I thought I would recommend them because they are a really good pair. The last thing I wanted to mention is a podcast that I listen to every single day. I have to mention it because it, it just, it brings me so much joy. It is We Can Do Hard Things, which is a Glennon Doyle. If you haven't read, or you haven't heard of Glennon Doyle, she is the author of Untamed, which I read, I think last summer, well over a year ago and I devoured it. It's the first book I've, well, it's the quickest book I've ever read. I just whizzed through it because I just adored her and everything about it. In fact, I want to reread it, but as an audio book, because I want to listen to how she reads it. Um, but her podcast is brilliant. They talk about so many different topics. So I just look forward to every episode just to see what it is they're gonna discuss that week. In fact, they now do two episodes a week because it was so popular. Um, it's basically Glennon, her wife Abby and her sister Amanda and they talk about everything from motherhood, relationships, just life. They're not, as the title would suggest, afraid to talk about difficult topics. I just really value their discussion. I find it really interesting. I really like them. They are so easy to listen to, really likeable and I just listen to it when I'm doing my makeup in the morning and it starts me off in a good mood so that has been a big favorite of mine in the last month or so one thing i don't have to recommend which i'm hoping you can recommend for me is a good tv series because i feel like i don't know i haven't watched anything that's really gripped me in so long um aside from drag race which i love but i want to get in i want to watch squid game dan's not interested i probably will watch it on my own um because i just can't bear not to know what everyone's talking about um I'm thinking about watching Made, but I know it's going to be quite a hard watch, so I haven't started that one yet. I feel like I need a good TV series to get into, so... Oh, actually, no, I do have another favourite. I do have a TV series to recommend. The second season of The Morning Show is amazing. I loved the first season. This one, I feel like, is even better. It's been brilliant. The one thing I don't like about it is that they make you wait. A week to watch the next episode which I hate I can't stand that um on the plus side it does make it last longer because I don't binge it all in one weekend so no I do have a tv series to recommend that one is brilliant but do let me know if you have any that you can recommend to me to fill in the gaps between the Fridays when the new morning show episodes come out that would be fab I'm gonna go now because the sun has come out and I'm gonna take the kids out to get some Halloween sweets for the trick-or-treaters because I have none so i hope you all have a good weekend i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye